Hello again, everybody. Um, it's been a couple years since we've filmed. Um, that's mostly because we've gotten so busy with what we're doing. It's been a lot of work to keep up with our business. We've removed a lot of the smaller locations and just gotten a whole bunch of big ones. Uh, so we, we've also had a kid in the last two years. The storage business is doing really good it's uh the business is is booming so what we're planning on doing now is i'm going to film as much as i can my wife no longer comes with me just because with the kid it's it's too hard we don't want to leave her with childcare, um whether it be her family or my family so my wife stays home as much as possible she does work three days a week still um and we get uh, her parents, my parents, whoever to watch for those three days. I still work full time up north. I actually just got off a 12 hour night shift, drove home this morning or this afternoon. I got home at three o'clock. It's now 10 o'clock or 10.30, I think. So I'm just loading the van for me to leave at 6 a.m. tomorrow. We have a relatively small route to do when it comes to locations we don't have a whole bunch of locations on this route but the locations that we do have are large um the one location is a resort and they have four snack machines or sorry four drink machines two snack machines so far and an atm uh, we did add atms to our business um i don't know if we added any other type of business anyways we added atms so that's what this location has so far we're adding two more drink machines at two of their other locations and another atm at another one of their locations and then they're talking about doing a full arcade and everything like that as well so that location is fairly big we have another location that has just four arcade games right now um but we it was super short notice and we weren't able to do what we wanted to do for this year um it's gonna it's gonna be a six month on six months off thing we're gonna see how it goes if it does good this year we'll probably do it next year with more equipment and whatnot but we're not too keen because it's got to go upstairs and moving it on the time is a pain and and whatnot like that but with that location, we got another location that's a five-year contract and it's a 20 machine arcade, whatnot, in a hotel. So I'm just finishing up this today. Um, and then I'm gonna put a heater in here because it's cold here right now and the product probably won't freeze overnight, but I don't want the toys to freeze. They, some of them don't last in the cold and whatnot. So, um, yeah, our, our plan is I'm going to film as much as I possibly can. My wife will edit when she has time. We're going to try and post videos on a regular basis about everything we do. Um, this week I've got, we're collecting all of our vending routes. It'll be our last collection for the year. Uh, and then we'll do inventory and everything for our year end. So... Tomorrow's gonna be a really long day for me because some of the equipment we purchased wasn't set up properly from our supplier. Uh, the snack machines, they were supposed to put in larger count coils so that it would hold more product and they did not. So I have to change all those. That's gonna be fun. And then um another machine that was sent it's used it was shipped from a different supplier they were supposed to set it up so it worked with cans it's a vendo 720 drink machine 10 selections it's the big buttons on the front they were supposed to set it up so that it worked with cans and they didn't so now they all jam and they don't dispense properly and so on and so forth. So, so this is currently what I have in the van. Um, those are spare parts, drinks, drinks. Those are some of the parts that I gotta replace on the snack machines, the coils and whatnot. Uh, we're also changing some of the tubes in our coin mac so that they hold more change 
and we don't have to come back all the time and service it and whatever. This box is full of the parts for the drink machine that was not set up properly. All the blue bins are full of snacks. And then you can see all the drinks. There's more drinks, um, toys. I'll show you guys when I'm done, but yeah, there's a little bit more to put in here. Um, part of the reason there's so many snacks, I don't actually need this many snacks, but because I'm adding the bigger coil counts, I need to bring more snacks so that I can fill it with the new coil counts. Like some of the counts are going from eight to 15. Uh, what not like that. Some are going down, but some are going up and, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna bring my tripod. I'm gonna try my best tomorrow to film with time lapse. I don't know. My wife will figure out that I'm just going to film and she will edit. So I will see you guys once I have this load. So this should be everything that's like picked for my trip tomorrow. Uh, I moved the coils and stuff over to the outside because I wanted to get the candy over here because those coils are going to be leaving very quickly. My first stop is the stop with all of the drinks and everything. The rest of the locations, the full arcade is not installed just yet. Well, I'm already off to a bad start with the filming thing here. I left already and had to pull over and shoot shoot this um so i woke up at 5 40 it's now 5 55 just leaving five minutes away from the house not even two minutes away from the house so it's about a hour long drive to get to where we're going it's a resort in our area so we're gonna go there first park and then i'll i'll load up the dolly and yeah i have the dolly absolutely critical so we'll get there and then once we get there we'll be good to go Obviously that one had an issue. I'm assuming that tree's not staying there, but if it does, oh well. So that was two of our machines. There's another drink machine out by the pool. We have a drink and a snack machine on this level. We also have more toys and candy. Yeah, I imagine that's what they're doing with the drinks. another small candy machine on a different level and then there's the ATM as well but I'm gonna start filling these I've only got five hours to get everything done here before I have a meeting at one of our other locations so we'll uh, we'll get going just notice there's a pop there what happened there but let's put that back where it goes um, Clear that these have sensors in them, so whoever whoever that happened to, they would have got either their money back or um, they would have either got their money back or the bag of chips. So it didn't take whoever's money. And then uh, these also have alarms in them because we know I got a, a custom designed alarms. So if you shake this machine, it sets off an alarm so that people don't shake the machines because people are very um, inconsiderate about moving our machines, shaking our machines, whatnot like that. So 
probably not going to show you the alarm now because it's 7 a.m. and we're in a hotel. But I will show you the alarms on our machines eventually. Almost forgot though, one of the most important things for doing the drink machines at this location because it doesn't have, uh, two of the machines don't have mounts for setting your drinks on. So it's kind of a pain to constantly turn it on and everything. So I got uh, this, but I don't remember how I made it. Put the current slides down. Figure it out. Anyways, this is a. Uh, figure it out anyways this is a table 3d printed this holds it up there i'll figure out how to get it off here figure it out yeah, it just slides so good to go Here is the alarm I designed. So this is the main control board. Here's the extremely loud siren. And in there, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, flip it. Uh, wife can figure that out. Uh, in there is the sensor. So if it's shook or tilted or whatever, this alarm goes off. Very high pitch. Those lights are really bright. I found the first one I need to change. It's this one. It's uh, 10 count, I think. But this has popcorn in it. So it needs to go up to a... I'm just gonna see if I can unplug these lights. There. Um, it needs to go up and count to... Uh, that one's probably too big, but it'll be good enough. We have a bunch of extra coils. So we're just gonna up the count. I've never done this one before. It's a different style of machine, so I don't entirely know how it works. We shall figure it out. Yeah, that's, so that's very different than what I'm used to. These come off. Take it, yeah, they're flippable so that you can offset them from the other ones. So, and then from there it looks fairly easy. You just gotta keep track of where these ones went and then put the new ones in in the same rotation because otherwise it'll spin backwards when you go to do it. So to get this off, it looks like you just need to pop this and turn it, which I can't do with one hand. And it comes and it comes out of the coil. I got them on. They don't seem right, but uh, I don't know. They don't seem to go into the coil like they should. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I am slightly worried that I'm gonna have problems 
with them. I, uh, I just finished the snack machines. I had to stop filming because it was just, it was taking me too long. Uh, it's already one o'clock here. I got here at 7 a.m. So the two snack machines inside are done. Two of the drink machines inside are done. I gotta go do the other one, but that one, thank God, is just a fill. Um, and then after that, I gotta go to the pool area, which is another giant pain so um, that one needs a whole bunch of parts added to it because the people that we bought it from didn't do a good job and shipped it to us without parts to make it work properly uh, they did honor the i sent them an invoice for 790 dollars for parts plus my labor um, based off of how long it took to change all of the coils on these snack machines it's I'm assuming not enough that I charge them. Uh, that also being said, while I was putting in these coils, I noticed that the uh, plastic attachments don't attach very well to them. So I am slightly worried that they're the wrong coils for this machine. They were the ones that I was sent by the people that sold the machine to me. We've used them before, but uh, yeah, I think these coils are not the right ones and I really hope they're not gonna cause me problems because it's gonna suck to come back and have to redo all that again. But uh, we'll see how it goes. As you can see, this is a huge pain. So we've got this road, that road, that road done. Um, but because I'm, I don't know, because I trust people can send us machines that work properly. Uh, when I first got the machine, I just put everything in and they're all full and now I gotta remove all the stuff to fix it properly. So here's what's going on with this machine. Uh, I don't know how to turn on the light. Um, yeah, so what's happening is they don't have the proper pieces in here. So this gauge bar or spacer plate or whatever they call it needs to be in there for cans. As you can see on this side, it is not there. So what's happening is the cans are, it loads the first row, which you can see is currently stuck in the chute right there. And then when it goes to spin around to load the next row, the, the next row gets stuck on the stopper bar there. So I'll unstuck this and then I'll take a video and show you. What's happening. supposed to look like all the pieces installed this is what it looked like when we bought it uh, I'm probably just gonna get these first two rows done and then I'll show you on this row because this row doesn't work so here's one of the things that's happening because these pieces aren't installed I'm gonna try and get it here gotta pull the can out right away otherwise it jams and then it won't spin and it crushes the can so see how it's jammed there? So the piece at the very back is used to stop that from jamming. So as you can see, it did not jam. It dispensed all four cans. 
not jamming. So that is why I needed those parts. I don't remember the last thing I filmed, but I went and I had my meeting with the other location. And uh, I don't know if the volume... I think my wife's going to complain about the volume. But anyways, I did my had my meeting with the uh, other location. So I'm going to unload all the drinks, all the snacks, everything that I don't need anymore. And then I need to reload my van with toys, candy, whatever I need for tomorrow. Um, because I have another route to do tomorrow. And then I've also got to do our coffee machines. I got to do snack machines. I got to do everything else. But with the snack and drink machines that I'm doing tomorrow, it's a small enough thing. Like each location takes whatever. I, I think you guys saw those blue bins. I can fit it all in the blue bin. So we load the blue bin with the drinks and the snacks that we need. We put the label of the name of the location, like Walmart on it. And I just take that bin in the location and do my thing. So I don't need all this floating around in here. So I'm gonna unload it and we'll go from there. But my 20 plus hour day is not over yet. <laughs> 